here at Mountain View Cemetery in Walla Walla. And this place has so much history. It really showcases individuals that made such an impact on this town. This one especially has made a huge impact on the Walla Walla community. Tell us about her. This is the monument for Dutch Joe or Josephine Wolf. She is a very successful businesswoman in the late 1860s in Walla Walla, and she was also a madam. She came to this area from San Francisco. Originally, she was from France. She became very wealthy and lived in Walla Walla for over 50 years, and she donated to several charities, including the firemen, orphans, and pets. She was a very private person, and upon her death, she had everything pertaining to her photographs, any kind of memorabilia destroyed, so we don't know, really know what she ever looked like, but she was a very important part of this area. Yeah, she didn't want the credit, but she did want it to yeah. make a difference and help. We're here at Baker Circle. This is a very important one as well. Talk to us about this. The Baker Circle had, these are all the descendants of Dorsey Baker, who was an early Walla Walla doctor and businessman. He later opened Baker Boyer Bank in 1869, which is now the oldest bank in the state. He was also started the railroad from Walla Walla to Alula in 1871 to connect the city to the Columbia River. This is an important part of Walla Walla's history. So much history. Thank you, Rio. And she does tell us that while she was there, she had some mysterious audio issue, issues. Oh, spooky there. Yeah, so is it really haunted? Who knows? <laughs> but also, if you couldn't guess, Rio was dressed up in a subtle costume mm -hmm. right there. Here's a side-by-side. -side. This is the best. Rio's rocking it, being the rock, none <laughs> other than the rock himself. I mean, between the pose <laughs> and just the turtleneck, it's She's so iconic. Got to see it. <laughs> you know immediately what she.